Let's start uh, with the script, because Noah, it just starts with, starts with the words. <laughs> um, wh why did you want to focus on, focus on Jackie Kennedy, and how did you decide just to pick this very narrow slice of her life? Sure. Um, well, I, I've been obsessed and fascinated with her since I was a little kid. Um, my mother was a huge admirer of Jackie Kennedy's, and when I went and visited my grandmother's house when I was like six years old, I, I found this box in her room of the newspapers and magazines from that week in 1963 that she had saved from her childhood. Um, and so that kind of launched a lifelong interest in, in the Kennedys and in Jackie in particular. And when I was thinking about stories to tell about, about them, I, I wanted to find a, a fresh way into what's obviously a very familiar story. And it seemed to me that Jackie Kennedy, for all of the times that she's been portrayed on television and in film, the focus had almost always been on her beauty, her elegance, uh, the complexities of her marriage, but that like a lot of women, frankly, in history, she had never gotten her, her proper due for the really substantive role that she had played in how we think about shaping how we think about her husband's time in office and, and his legacy. And so the more I learned about how much she did to craft the mythology of, of his administration, and then when I found out that she had created the Camelot myth in an interview that she gave just one week after the assassination, it struck me that, the, that, that was, those were good bookends, the assassination and this interview that she gave. And so once I started, once I, once I decided that, then it was a matter of kind of mining those seven days in between and, and then layering in some additional things. It was a six-year odyssey from start to finish. And um, yeah, once Pablo stepped off as a, uh, excuse me, once Darren stepped off as director, he wanted to wait and find the right filmmaker to do it. Um, and I would call an email and obnoxiously harass him over the years saying, why won't you get some, why won't you make it? Or, you know, let a first-year film student make it for all I care. Just get it made. Um, and he would very politely say, no, I'm waiting for the right person. And he was uh, running the jury at the Berlin Film Festival and awarded a prize to Pablo for his film, The Club. Mm -hmm. And at the party afterwards, said to him, I have an English language script that I'd, I'd like you to take a look at. Right, and w while he was shooting uh, Neruda, Neruda yeah. Yeah, because we had Pablo here for Neruda a couple of weeks ago, and so we got to talk to him. How did you come to be involved in the project? Let's, st let's start. Um, um, I think when the, the the production decided to shoot the film in uh, in Paris in France, I think for many reasons, also because Natalie Portman was living in Paris, ah. so it was one of the reasons to to shoot there. So, so Stefan, talk a bit about um, the the look of the film and how you created that with Pablo. I'm sure that must have been a quite work you did qu together. Quite challenging, actually. Um, when we started working on the movie, we watched lots of um, lots of archive footage um, and very quickly I mean we we've watched um, lots of footage that was actually shot in 16 mil reversal or 35 sometimes mm -hmm. uh, which meant that most of the time the, um, all these images had a very strong texture um, strong colors huge contrast as well um, and then the one thing we didn't want to was um, that the audience felt suddenly that there was a, like a two-fold story, like the, the original footage and then a different story told by us and an actress. So, so how, how, much, how much actual footage from the time is in the film? It's hard to tell uh, because now it's all, you know, it's all blended it's together. It's all blended. Mm -hmm. um, what we really tried to achieve was to find a look where all the um, transitions would be seamless between the period footage that was actually used in the edit mm -hmm. and what we were shooting with Natalie. Uh, another thing which seemed quite obvious to us was that um, just because of all the chaos she goes through, there needed to be um, a, a place for her to um, sort of rest, if I mean, for lack of a better word. Um, but so the White House needed to be kind of a shelter, mm -hmm. and then we sort of recreated recre um, a much um, softer look, uh, something that wouldn't be more gentle. 
for the White House? Yes. Where, where, do, where were these sets? Where did you build them? Uh, the whole um, second floor was built in, in, in Paris in the studio. This young man over there. <laughs> 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 well done. Amazing. <laughs> The, the first thing we have done is to make a huge research, huge documentation, um, uh, possibly much more than anyone, because of course I needed to, to be sure that I understood the architecture, the design, the interior design, the furniture, the style, the different style of the White House at that moment. Uh, we needed to understand how the White House has been built to understand the different part, different style of the, the architecture. So we, we started, we, uh, we had a lot of constraint, uh, con constraint uh, because we had only 10 uh, weeks of prep, which is very small for a big set uh, like that. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we had to go very fast. And um, so uh, we uh, really wanted, before starting to make a creation of the style of the color, I really wanted to make a, a big um, amount of uh, research. And from that, we, we started to understand uh, with Stefan and Pablo that he wanted to be able to get the whole set at the same time in the mm -hmm. studio. Uh, he, he wanted to be able to have the whole corridor, the whole bedroom, everything open and possible to be shot in, uh, in, in one shot. So, Madeline, I was, I was curious when I was looking, uh, watching the different scenes of her in that pink suit. I, I was just wondering how many suits did you make? F of that Five. pink suit? Yeah, because we, we needed, of course, we shot in Paris. The, the part when she's, you know, with the blood on it, before the assassination that we shot in, in uh, Washington, uh -huh. two months before, two months later. So mm -hmm. we had to, I mean, we, we we needed to have at least one already with the blood on, and and at least two, to to take the, I mean, to make the sequence yeah. of the assassination, yeah. and one just in case. I mean, we had to make several. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. So there were, and so you had to make multiples of all of them. The the um, the other the other costumes that are so memorable that the scene with uh, Pablo Casals uh, is absolutely beautiful, just gorgeous. The dress she's wearing, and so it must have been, it was it must have been fun to make these dresses and to see Natalie wear them. Well, the the green one was like a present because it was one that we just just made, not to stick with the. An existing yeah, image. The color was the same than the one she really wore for this uh, concert, but only the color. The, the, the shape was uh, inspired by some of the other dresses she wore, which was very pure and just, just like made for her body. Mm -hmm. and it was a great pleasure to, do, to make this one because the other one has really to stick with something already existing. Mm -hmm. 